items declared in the 2015 climate agreement. The reduction of greenhouse gas emissions has become a global issue. Major moves have been spurred toward achieving energy efficiency in a carbon neutral society. One technology that is already an integral part of modern living, contributing solutions to these issues and supporting modern society, is the world's strongest magnet, the neodymium magnet. Used in a wide array of advanced applications, neodymium magnets are growing in importance with each passing year for their powerful magnetic properties and ability to reduce costs. Amazingly, Neodymium magnets continue to dominate as the world's strongest magnets 40 years after their invention. Invention of the Neodymium Magnet, the world's strongest magnets in the world they opened. In 1982, following independent approaches, one scientist in Japan and another in the United States discovered the neodymium magnet at virtually the same time. Dr. Masato Sagawa, Dr. John J. Croat. After completing a master's degree in electrical engineering at Kobe University, Masato Sagawa went on to pursue a doctoral degree in material science at Tohoku University. In 1972, he joined Fujitsu Limited, where he began research on magnetic materials searching to create an unbreakable magnet. While conducting repeated experimentation, Dr. Sagawa had the opportunity to attend a lecture by Dr. Masaaki Hamano. Hamano showed Dr. Sagawa his process for compounding crystalline structures consisting of rare earth metals and iron, explaining, using just iron atoms, the distance between atoms is too short to generate magnetism. It was a eureka moment for Dr. Sagawa. He realized that by interposing atoms with small radii, such as carbon and boron, between iron atoms, the atomic distance could be stretched, stabilizing the magnetic field. Dr. Sagawa framed his hypothesis created a prototype material and conducted repeated experiments to evaluate it. In 1982, to complete the neodymium magnet that would become the world's strongest magnet, Dr. Sagawa joined Sumitomo Special Meadows Company Limited. That same year, Dr. Sagawa invented the ND2FE14B neodymium magnet. The crystalline structure of this magnet bore little resemblance to the metal compound envisaged in Dr. Sagawa's hypothesis. Tetragonal crystalline structure of ND2FE14B. The process Dr. Sagawa adopted is called sintering. In this process, a compressed powder of magnetic material is formed in a magnetic field and sintered under high heat. In 1985, Dr. Sagawa used dysprosium to achieve the required durability. In just three short years, Dr. Sagawa succeeded in industrializing the process. Today, Dr. Sagawa continues to engage vigorously in research and development at Kyoto University Katsura Venture Plaza, working on development with the new Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization, and as an advisor to a wide range of research institutes. Dr. Sagawa is the recipient of a series of prestigious awards. In 1965, Dr. John J. Crote began graduate studies in metallurgy at Iowa State University of Science and Technology in Ames, Iowa, USA. In those days, Ames Laboratory at Iowa State was the global center of research on rare earth metals. Dr. John J. Crote worked at the laboratory while attending classes at the university. Upon obtaining his doctorate in metallurgy in 1972, 
Dr. Crow joined the Magnetic Materials Group of the Physics Department of General Motors Company, located in Warren, Michigan, USA. Neodymium iron compounds possesses an intermetallic phase suitable for the conditions required to form permanent magnets. Compounds of praseodymium in iron, however, do not. It was thought that no process existed to solve this problem. In 1976, however, an article in a scientific journal caught Dr. Crote's attention. The article reported that significant coercive force developed by heating an amorphous terbium iron alloy. This was the spark that began Dr. Crote's research. He began research into the manufacture of NDFE and PRFE permanent magnets by heat treating the rapidly solidified materials. 1982, during the course of these studies, Dr. Crote discovered the ternary ND2FE14B intermetallic phase, which forms the basis of all families of neodymium iron-borne permanent magnets. He also developed processes for producing a family of bonded magnets from these rapidly solidified materials. Although the sintered magnet has higher magnetic strength, bonded magnets produced by the rapid solidification process have other advantages, specifically the ability to rapidly produce net-shaped complex shapes. Dr. Crote's process was thus well suited to the formation of bonded magnets for use in motors. Beginning in 1985, Dr. Crote helped develop the technology for mass production of bonded magnets. In 1996, Dr. Crote supported the industrial production of neodymium magnet powders as CEO of Advanced Magnetic Materials Company Limited. From 2004 onward, Dr. Crote continued to work as a consultant, primarily through John Crow Consulting, Inc. Dr. Crote is the recipient of a series of prestigious awards. Neodymium magnets continue to advance today. Dr. Sagoy has developed an impressive number of manufacturing processes based on the sintering process. Press-less process, a fabrication method that does not use a press. Thin magnets are produced directly using molds. Laminated magnet, a magnet produced by layering thin magnets on top of each other and hot pressing them. This technique produces magnets at low cost with little magnet loss. Development of neodymium magnets completely free of heavy rare earth metals, based on the rapid solidification process. By eliminating the use of rare earth metals, which are unevenly distributed and expensive, Dr. Crote succeeded in developing materials that are not vulnerable to changes in geopolitical conditions. Examples of current use. Use in PC hard disks, smartphones, consumer electronics, air conditioners, etc. Neodymium magnets are used in a wide range of applications, including EV motors and wind turbines. They are especially vital materials in hybrid vehicles and EVs, as they enable reduction in size and weight of not only motors, but also a wide range of parts. Their use in robots is expected to increase, making neodymium magnets more important than ever. There are all kinds of scientists doing research in all sorts of fields. What I advise you to do, though, is to ask yourself what your field will need 10 years from now. Think about those needs 10 years from now and get to work on research to meet those needs on your own initiative. Don't just follow what others tell you. Seek out and pursue your own research themes. I think I, I should say that uh, you know, my, looking back at my career, I think if you want to do serious research, 
You have to get a PhD, first of all, otherwise you won't get a good job. Second thing is you always keep track of the literature that's in your field because most of the time you get your ideas from someone else's publications. And uh, the third thing is, in general, I think my career in material science, I think is a very good one. It's uh, something that I would encourage for all young people. It's all, my, going to work every day was a, a pleasure. It was always interesting, always fulfilling. There was always a lot of uh, pro, uh, material science uh, problems and products that need new materials. So it's a never ending job. And I, I would uh, uh, encourage a, a career in material science for all young people. The two scientists greatly respect each other and their work. These inventions constitute a rare case in which two scientists of the same age but separated by a great distance unexpectedly developed similar materials through markedly different approaches. Each achieved their respective accomplishments thanks to a thorough grounding in scientific knowledge and their own unflagging efforts. The world's strongest permanent magnets, neodymium magnets, are already contributing greatly to measures against global warming. They are sure to support further exciting innovations going forward.